there is no career that goes to the top and stays there forever. And Joe will be one who tells you, I and mean, he's been doing it for 40 years now. I will not stand in your way, like static on a dime, who comes back and starts. He's uh, the most musical person I've ever met. He's like a primitive genius about it. I got the look a lot quicker than I got the, the musicality, which I thought was just, you know, it was a small, small detail. Because he was one of ten and they were poor and they were immigrants, I think it's really, you know, one really needs to stand out and he found a way to stand out and be noticed. History has made a strong... There's a thing about the Maltese culture and the Maltese way. We make light, even if we've got only a little bit to play with. I think my dad always wanted me to be something. He didn't care what it was. <laughs> I know he did a lot of hard jobs when he was young, with abattoirs and foundries. I think he knew pretty quickly what he didn't want to do. Uh, once I got that saxophone, I found this interest and it sort of changed my life, really. One of those great things used to be, hey, you're hurting my culture. He's funny, he's very funny. He's a great communicator. He did that through adversity, you know. Um, he didn't know how to read or write music. He's learned to do that. So young. So young, so young. Don't be such a nasty boy. You want to squeeze me tight and call me honey? Indefatigable. People have tried to defatigate him, but no, he's indefatigable. Really, that's his main thing, obsessed by music and women. That is two interests in life. I've met a lot of beautiful people, but I've made a lot of dumbass mistakes. When people come up and they say to Joe, oh man, I saw you, saw you 20 years ago, you're just as good. Joe won't say anything, but I'll step in and say, hey mate, he's 20 years fucking better. <laughs> okay.